Lewis Henry Sullivan. He was an influential architect of the Chicago School, a mentor to Frank Lloyd Wright, awarded with AIA Gold Medal. Known for his famous dictum, form follows function, and being the father of modernism, and father of skyscrapers. Influenced by Furness and Jenny, as well as architect H. H. Richardson. Born in September 3, 1856 in Boston, Massachusetts. Died in April 14, 1924, at the age of 67, caused by neuritis and weak heart. Studied in architecture in Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1872, as well as in Beaux-Arts. Worked for Furness and Hewitt, William LeBaron Jenny, and with Dankmar Adler in 1881. Lewis Henry Sullivan's Famous Works 1. Guarantee Building, in New York, USA in 1896 Now known as Prudential Building An early high-rise building in Buffalo, New York It has an exquisite ornamentation of Art Nouveau for both interior and exterior Inspired by flowers, seed pods, and the spreading branches of a tree for the top of the building. 2. Union Trust Building, in Missouri, USA in 1893. A 14-story building, with a U-shaped plan in the facade. Covered with light brick all throughout. Now known as Hotel St. Louis. 3. Wainwright Building, in Missouri, USA in 1891. A 10-story office building. A prime example of Sullivan's organic ornamentation. Having a two-story base, on top of it are stressed vertical elements, capped with a decorative frieze, and projecting cornice. 4. Schiller Theater, in Chicago, Illinois in 1891. Also known as Dearborn Theater in 1898, and Garrick Theater in 1903. A fireproof building with steel structural system, embedded in concrete. The auditorium is extremely beautiful, and it can accommodate 1,270 persons. All halls and corridors have mosaic floors, the facade of the base has detailed ornaments. And a balcony having a series of round arches, in spite of being a lavish opera house, and its outpouring support for its preservation, it was demolished in 1961. 5. Auditorium Building, in Chicago in 1889 A 10-story high building of granite and limestone, with a 17-story tower. A mixed-used building, utilized as a hotel fronting the Monroe Harbor, the auditorium on Wells Drive, and the office on Wabash Avenue. For more famous architects and their famous works, click on the next video.